In Hong Kong Star Rail, there's a region with a 24-7 ongoing furry convention called the Zanjil Lofu. This region gave us two Foxian characters so far, Ting Yun and Yukong. These playable Foxians have been predominantly female, but what's a better way to counter predominantly female Foxians than with a pre-submissively male Foxian? Right out the gay Fox Boys banner, we get Fox Mommy's banner, which means not only is the male-female balancing gonna go down the drain, but also his banner sales. Guess he didn't see that one coming. <laughs> get it? Cause his eyes are closed. So how do you play Asian Fox streams, aka Jiatsu? Well, I'm glad you asked. My name is Aloha, and this is my Jiaochu guy. Jiaochu is a fire in the hill D character. His basic attack sends enemies straight to hell. Oh, hot, 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 hot. His skill, better Gwen Knife and Ult, deals fire damage to an enemy and adjacent dudes and applies a stack. Before we speak about his ultimate, let's talk about his talent, let him cook. His talent allows him to apply stacks with the skill and ultimate. These stacks increase the damage enemies take, stacking up to 5 times for 35% more damage. Enemies with stacks also burn, taking fire DOT every turn. His ultimate, Sexy Cooking Pot of Death, applies maximum stacks of his talent, turns the whole board into a stove for 3 turns, and causes enemies to take 50% more ult damage. Would you look at that, so he does have eyes. Wish someone would look at me that way. His technique summons a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire, down, down. This simply deals fire damage and applies a talent stack when entering battle. His traces are smoking hot, energy when battle starts, effect hit rate gives attack, and ult also applies stacks to new enemies entering combat. If you wanna leave him a big tip for his cooking, you can go for his Eidolons. Allies deal more damage and stacks apply twice as fast. Triple the fire DOT damage. Any E3. Enemies lose attack. Any E5. And enemies that die transfer stacks, the stack cap increases, and stacks reduce all type res. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. For a relic, since the space speed is low, you want the 4-piece speed set or the 2-piece speed set and the 2-piece debuff set for extra damage. Alternatively, you can go the 4-piece DOT set for even more damage. For ornaments, this set or the effect hit rate set are the best options. For stats, go for an effect hit rate body, speed boots, fire or attack ball and an energy rope. For substats, try to look for as much effect hit rate, speed and attack as possible. For light cones, his signature is as always the best, but the 4-star Luca light cone, the S5 4-star Silver Wolf light cone you got for free, or the 4-star Sample light cone are great options as well. For his team, he's the best in slot for Archeron, but a DOT team with Kafka and Black Swan are also good. Since he has low speed, F2P support Asta can be a great pair as well. If you want a furry to cook for you, pull for him. If you have Archeron, pull for him. If you want the upcoming Foxy and Mami instead, still pull for him and then spend all of your life savings to pull for her too, because you gotta get every single Foxian.